friends, today we'll be talking about syllogism. And syllogism is one of the most important topics which come in most of the exams. And they are very easy to crack only when you know the best way to crack. Today, we'll be talking about syllogism and solving it without a Venn diagram. And this is basically done for students who have not studied mathematics in the and who are not very comfortable with Venn diagram. Now how we do it? There is a rule called 150 rule. In this 150 rule, we have to be very clear and objective in what we want. Like if I say or if I tell you a statement like all pens are book. Now this is a positive sentence. I will say another sentence which says all papers are pens. This is again a positive sentence. Now from these two positive sentences we can firmly and very clearly conclude that it will be a positive conclusion. Now if I start with another sentence which says no books are pen and some pens are paper. Now in this when one of the sentences is no which we all know stands for negative so there has to be the conclusion not positive. Now you would ask me but one of the sentences says some pens are paper but anything that goes with negative makes it not positive so it is a not positive conclusion similarly if a set of two sentences both have no like no black is yellow and no yellow is red so the conclusion has to be absolutely negative while we solving this there are many videos in youtube which you can readily see but where we stand apart from others is the clarity and understanding of the subject from a layman's point of view. Now if you see what happens in syllogism is that we are given either a reverse syllogism or a proper syllogism. Now first you have to understand what is 150 rule. This is sometimes also called as you know profit or increment and expense. Like suppose all books are pen. So after all the book will be denoted with 100 and pen which is the concluding part will be denoted with 50. So please understand again all books are pen. So on top of books we will write 100 and on top of pen we will write 50. But if I say some pens are red. So on top of pens we will write 50 and on top of red we will write 50. But if I say no pens are red then on top of pens we will write 100 and on top of no red we will again write 100. Now this has to be the basic circumference on which we are going to work. Now how we work if we are given two sentences like all books are paper so all books 100 paper 50 and the second statement suppose we get some books are pen so because it is some so on top of books 50 and pen again 50 now we'll try to see we have to subtract now if you're subtracting 50 in the first sentence from the 50 in the second sentence it is zero so it is advisable it can be done but by chance on the first sentence it was 50 and in the second sentence it was 100 like no books on paper it can never be done so the conclusion would be negative so always we would be subtracting from the top value to the bottom value and the top value has to be more than the bottom value another important aspect we have to understand while doing syllogism please read each and every sentence on their merit Please read each and every sentence in a sequence. Do not jump anything on which you feel, okay, this is it. Because always follow the rules. You can always do it through Venn diagram. But this video is only dedicated to people who do not wish to do it through Venn diagram. For other things, you can refer to the books of Disha publication for IBPS. Have a great study.
थैंक यू